Hi, I'm Matt. This is my channel Sawdust Passion, and today I'm putting my own spin on a river table. I like the river table craze that hit a few years ago, but there's loads of videos of them out there, and I thought I would do something a little bit different. My idea is to do a riverless table, or maybe a valley table. I'm going to start with the table top, or tops. I've got these two slabs of walnut from eBay, and they're pretty similar. First off, I'm going to cut a straight edge along the length of each of them. I'm measuring 250mm on each side, then connecting it with a straight edge, and I'm going to cut it with a track saw. So the track saw couldn't cut deep enough, so I'm going to have to finish it off with a Japanese pull saw. Next I'm going to flatten the boards using a sled through the thicknesser. Unfortunately I didn't get a decent shot of this, but check out the mess that it made. I'm going to use the table saw now to cut both the short edges on each slab. Now to fill some of the voids with epoxy. Whilst that cures, I'm moving on to the legs. So originally I thought I was going to use these metal legs, but unfortunately they've got too much play in them. So I'm going to save those for a future project. So instead, I'm going to make some legs using oak spindles. So over to the table saw to cut them all to length. To strengthen the butt joints, I'm going to use dowel. I'm going to drill the holes first on one piece, glue it together and then finish off the hole with the hand drill. That way I know that they line up perfectly. I'm using bolts to connect the top to the legs. I'm going to recess these and I'm going to use a washer and drill the hole bigger so that there's room for the wood to expand and contract. I'm doing this now because it'll be easier than when it's glued together. Now to complete the holes for the dowel. I'm using this clamp to push the dowel in instead of hammering it because I tried that and it split the joint and I had to re-glove it. Now to add the insert nuts to the tops.
going to give it all a sand, then I'm going to go over to the finishing shed, stain the tops. I'm staining the tops, weaving out the colour. I want the legs to be a dull black colour, so I'm going to use this Indian ink to stain them. I'm then going to finish them with some clear furniture polish. So, I've decided I don't like the stain on the worktops, so I'm going to sand it all back and then go for a clear finish instead. Really love how this project has turned out. I'm so pleased with the table. There is a little bit of a wobble on the legs. Um, so I've ordered some adjustable feet and we're gonna add those afterwards. But all in all, I'm really pleased with it. It is quite stable and I think it looks great. Now all I need to do is make some coasters. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and follow your passion.